dedicated to the grind and dedicated to you. That's why we do what we do. This is Power Grind Boxing, where we're dedicated to the great sport that we call boxing. I need you to subscribe right now for another jab of boxing news from around the world, commentary and entertainment, with a focus on honoring those of the past and the present who have made a positive contribution on this wonderful sport that we call boxing. Right now, we're going to talk about Javante Davis's trainer, Calvin Ford, talking about the future opponent for Javante Tank Davis. And of course, he was talking about business too. You feel me? I'm saying Javante Tank Davis is a powerful and skillful southpaw that boxing fans want to see take on the best lightweights in the wonderful sport that we call boxing. Now, he knocked out Ryan Garcia, and he has quickly become one of the biggest draws in boxing. But Calvin Ford, he has urged all the boxing fans from all around the world to be patient and to understand the business considerations of Javante Tank Davis. You heard that right. Calvin Ford, the trainer of Javante Tank Davis, they, they interviewed him, right? And yo, he was like, listen, man, Javante Tank Davis is a big draw. And you got to think about the business considerations when dealing with Javante Tank Davis. So Calvin Ford has basically said that the business considerations will dictate who Javante Tank Davis fights in the future. Now, from Calvin Ford's perspective, he's saying that, hey, it's all about the business. Man. Now, from one side of understanding people who come from the mud, look, man, you got to think money first. Boxing is a business. This is the business of boxing. And I understand that Javante Tank Davis is one of the biggest names in boxing. And he's he's a, it's a he generates a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? But, ah. Uh, it made me so sad when I was hearing that because, man, I'm just like, man, come on, man. I know who I want him to fight. Why he won't fight the person that I want him to fight? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, man, I want to see him fighting Devin Haney. I don't want the uh, business. I don't want that to determine who he fights. I really don't. You know what I'm saying? I want to see Javante Tank Davis fight Devin Haney and Shakur Stevenson. Now, Calvin Ford, he did say that he hopes that Tank fights them as well. You know, and I want Tank to fight them because right now, Shakur Stevenson and Devin Haney, they are in the top 10 pound for pound lightweights without question now what i hate is that there's like a narrative that shakur stevenson or javante not javante but devin haney have to prove themselves from a business perspective see now i don't base achievement on pay-per-view numbers in business i don't I just don't look at the pay-per-view numbers and say, you know what? That is what makes you whoever you are. But I'm on social media a lot. And that's all they talk about. All they talk about on social media is how much money did this fight generate? People talk about money in boxing like they're the ones that's making the money. Now, me and my brother, we own a boxing gym and we have thrown um, three successful boxing tournaments. Listen, man, these events, they cost a lot of money. 
it's very difficult to organize and orchestrate and make sure everything is how it's supposed to be. So I understand that Calvin Ford and Javante Tank Davis, they want the money. You know what I'm saying? They got to look at it from the money perspective first. I get it. You know what I'm saying? And then, of course, they, the mentors, Money Mayweather, I get it. But, man, come on, man. I want to see Javante Tank Davis and Shakur Stevenson and Devin Haney, man. Now, what he, what Calvin Ford said is that he does not think that Haney has what it takes to beat Javante Tank Davis. Now, if you don't know Devin Haney, he's getting ready to fight. He got an upcoming fight. I want to say May 20th of 2023 against Vasily Lomachenko. And I am so interested in watching this fight. And I really hope that Devin Haney emerges as the victor in that fight. I really want to see Javante Tank Davis fight against Devin Haney. And no, I do not think and will never think that Tank is going to wash Devin Haney. He's never been washed. <laughs> you got what I'm saying? He's never been washed. That boy dirty with the Andy Thanos right now. He got all the belts. You got what I'm saying? In an era where People are trying to say belts don't matter. When Devin Haney gets the belt, people are trying to say that belts don't matter. Well, I don't agree. Belts do matter in this day and age. Even in the social media era, belts matter, and they are always going to matter. Always. Now, Shakur Stevenson is another potential opponent for Javante Tank Davis. You know, he's won... Um, titles in two weight divisions and he has been drawn a crowd of about 10,000 at least um, during his last two fights you know but he has not headlined a pay-per-view event so I understand from a marketability standpoint man it's it's very difficult you know but man I think the marketability of Devin Haney of course, Stevenson, and of course, the proven tank is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Now, I understand that marketability is crucial in the success of a pay-per-view event. But I just do not understand the thinking of fighters who have stepped inside of the ring and shown to the world that they are number one. Having to prove to Javante that they have the ability to draw a crowd and generate money. And the reason why I say that, even though I respect the OG, you know what I'm saying? Man, shouts out to Kevin for I respect him. You know, I love that brother. That's my people's right there. You know, I don't personally know him, but he's an inspiration to me. I talk about him in a positive light all the time. And I did a video on um, Calvin Ford. So please look for that video because I'm telling you, he's a he's a hood hero. He's a hood favorite. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, I'm not into trying to promote and focus on business considerations when, when I'm thinking about the potential opponents for Javante Tank Davis because I am a fan of boxing. I box and I'm a fan of boxing first. And I want to see Davis fight the best lightweights in the world. And the reality is that the best lightweights in the world are Shakur Stevenson proven and Devin Haney proven. You know, that's that's all the considerations that I need. You got what I'm saying? Like that that's all I need, you know, but and I understand that whoever Javante Tank Davis fights or decides to fight next. I know it's going to be a big draw. But as a boxing fan, I want to see exciting fights. I want to see the best fighting the best. You understand what I'm saying? And if you're not doing that, then I don't want to see an exhibition fight. I really enjoyed watching Ryan Garcia and Tank Davis. I enjoyed it. But it wasn't for the belts. So it was just an exhibition fight that I, I still enjoyed it because I love boxing. But we, we cannot deny that, hey, 
Devin Haney and Shakur Stevenson are out there. And they the dudes to beat right now. You got what I'm saying? I expect Devin Haney to get past Vasily Lomachenko. Unless, you know, the judges try to put some seasoning on it. I expect them to get past Vasily Lomachenko. And then, if you want the belts and you the baddest in the land, then guess what? Show that you the baddest in the land and go take all of the belts. You got me? Go take all the belts. Go take the belts. If you the baddest man, you feel me? So if Javante Tank Davis can do it, then hey, show the world that you can do it. Prove to these fans that you can do it. And I don't care what a fan say. Oh, yeah, he can do it. No, nah, I don't. Show me. I'm not a person. People are not what they say. They are what they do. So show the world what you can do against a top person that boxes. You got what I'm saying? Because what you can't do is tell me that Javante Davis don't understand and know that Devin Haney is a boxing fool. Shakur Stevenson is a boxing fool. You got what I'm saying? I do respect the OG, though. You know what I'm saying? I know his business first, so salute to that. You know what I'm saying? Calvin Ford, you the man. You know what I'm saying? Man, shout out to Javante Tank Davis, Shakur Stevenson, and the undisputed lightweight champion of the world. All the belts. We call him Thanos. I mean, Devin Haney. You know what I'm saying? Look, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Make sure you punch the like button, punch the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. And I'm saying, man, we dropping these new videos. Reminding you to stay on the grind, peace.